to Mendeley video course. You're watching video number 25, Editing Citation Style, How to Change the Number of Authors Before et al. In this video, I'm going to show you while editing citation styles, how do you manipulate the number of authors before the expression et al. Let's choose a generic style, Vancouver, for example. One of the changes could be some journals want the author's name in full and completely listed. So for example, in the generic Vancouver style, we say that if the number of authors is more than six, then list only the first six authors followed by et al. But sometimes journal want, a journal wants to list all the authors and without any expression of et al. So how do we do that? The best way I've seen is to choose a style where all authors are there. So for example, with Vancouver, we have several variations of Vancouver here. And if I go down, I must find something called Vancouver brackets no at all. So no at all means all the authors should be listed. I'll select this one, okay, and then say edit style. Now what happens is the generic style has all the authors listed and if I want to manipulate anything, for example, if I want only the first three authors listed when the number of authors is more than six, how do we achieve that? There are two places we have to manipulate. I have clicked on authors, you see here author, I can click on name, not names, name. And here, if you go down, there is an option called et al min. This is the minimum number of names needed in the author variable to activate et al abbreviation. Okay, so here I'm going to say seven because we said that whenever the number of authors is seven or more or more than six, then only et al should be activated. Then the next one is use the first three, four, whatever. So here I'm going to say, use the first three names. So this is one place where you have to manipulate. The same option is also there under global formatting options, global formatting options. At all minimum seven, at all first use, first three should be reflected. So you have to do it in two places. Earlier, we used to do it in only one place and I've seen in some times it doesn't work. So it's better to ensure that we make this change in both the places so that we uh, it gets properly reflected. Now we are not able to see any changes here because in our examples, we do not have any example where the number of authors is six or I mean more than six. So remember, you have to do the change in two places in order to properly reflect this change in number of authors before et al. In the next video, we are going to show you how to manipulate the page number format. Thanks for watching.